Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this lesson, we're going to keep talking about the standard game objects inside of Unity. Now, we've already talked about the primitive 3D game objects, and we've talked about 2D sprites. In this lesson, we want to talk about the first game object inside the effects category, which are particle systems. Now, before we get started, I want to give you a simple definition of what a particle system is. Now, we've talked about 3D game objects and 2D sprites, and we kind of mentioned how those game objects are primarily used for the well-defined solid objects within your scene. So things like characters, props, or even the environment of your level are primarily built out of 3D meshes or 2D sprites. But you also need something to create those other visual features inside your video game that aren't solid objects. Things like liquids, gases, or even magical powers can be created using particle systems. Now, a particle system is a game object that will admit or create a flow of visual images, kind of like 2D sprites, and each one of those images can have a lifetime and a movement assigned to it. Now, particle systems are used all the time in video game creation, and they're super important. So let's continue on and show you a few different examples of some particle systems. Here we have my tutorial project open inside of Unity, and I've already gone ahead to compile some different particle system demos to show you what particle systems are and how they're used. Now all these particle systems here come from packages that I pulled off the Unity Asset Store, and they were all free packages, and so I've put the links to those packages down in the description below. Now let's run through these demos real quick, and then let's talk about how to create a particle system. So starting on the far left, we have this blood spray particle system, which is a little gory, but it gives us an idea of what a particle system can be used for. Now, anytime you're playing a teen rated or M rated video game and there's blood involved, whether it's a first person shooter or a hack and slash video game, many times that blood that sprays out of the characters, whether it's a human or an alien or a monster, comes in the form of a particle system. Now, anytime there's blood that paints the walls, ceilings, and floors, that's actually a texture that's overlaid on top of the walls and ceilings and floors, but the blood that actually sprays out of characters is created by a particle system. Now, this particle system here is actually created from three separate particle systems. Two are the high-pressure blood spray, and then the third is the more sporadic blood spray that, that goes back and forth and is a little thinner. So blood is a major use for particle systems inside of video games. Another use for particle systems is fire. And so here in the second demo, we have this little campfire. And this campfire is made from three separate particle systems as well. The first one is the flames itself. The second is smoke that comes with the flames. And it's kind of hard to see the smoke. It's just a faint, transparent black and the third are the sparks that fly out of the flame. This game object also has some sort of light effect attached to it, which is what's creating the glow effect around the fire. So many times in video games, whenever you see fire, smoke, sparks, water vapor, it's all created from a particle system. And that leads us into our next demo, this middle one here, which is some sort of geyser, like Old Faithful. Now this game object here is also probably created from three separate particle systems, at least from what I can tell. The first one is the main body of water that's kind of spraying out of the ground. And then the second one is where it transitions from that water to more of like a steam. And the third one is where there's a little bit of water kind of spraying off of the main geyser. So you can see on the sides there's a little bit here and a little bit there. Now these first three demos that we've covered so far are very practical applications of particle systems. We have blood, fire, water. Those are all real world things that we can represent with a particle system. Now the second two demos are more fantasy based particle systems. So if you ever played a video game like World of Warcraft or League of Legends where there's a lot of magical spells, you're going to see particle systems like this. Now this first one, which is a ring of colored bubbles, I would probably associate with something like a poison spell. And so if someone gets cursed with a poison spell, you could use this as like an aura around their character. You would put it at their feet surrounding them, and that would signify that they've been cursed with someone else's poison spell. This last demo we have here is like a little starburst particle system. 
And this could be used in a number of different ways. It could be a ball of energy that someone shoots out of their hands all Kamehameha style, or it could be a little fairy that follows you around wherever you go, like Navi from Zelda. Now this is just a small demonstration of what particle systems can do inside of Unity, but when it comes to your own creativity and how you use these particle systems, the possibilities are endless. Now that we've gone through all those different demos, you should have a little bit better understanding of what particle systems are and how they're used. Now let's talk about how to create a particle system. So here we have my scene and I've deleted all the other particle systems from our scene. Now to create a particle system, we go up to the Game Object drop-down menu and then go to the Effects category and select Particle System. This creates a new game object inside our scene and hierarchy, and the default name for this game object is Particle System, and you can change it to whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it as Particle System for now. Now this is the standard building block for particle systems inside of Unity. And the only difference between this game object and an empty game object is that it has a particle system component attached to it. Some of the settings inside the particle system component have also been preset to make the particle system look like this. If we were to create an empty game object inside our scene and then just add a particle system component to this game object, you'll notice that there's a bunch of pink squares being emitted instead of white circles. And the reason why is because there's not a material attached to this particle system. And so what gives the standard particle system the white spheres is a material inside the renderer setting right here that says default particle. So if we were to select our new empty game object that we attached a particle system to and go down to the renderer settings and then select our material and we're going to click on this little circle next to material and then we can select default particle which is right here and now what we've done is we've recreated this standard particle system game object with just an empty game object all we had to do was create an empty game object attach our particle system and then change the default material now you'll notice inside the inspector that there are a ton of settings for the particle system component and all the settings are broken up into collapsible categories. Now we're going to talk about all these different settings when we talk about the particle system component in a later video. But the best thing that you can do right now is to play around with these settings and see what they do. Just change one setting and see how it affects the particle system. That's the best way to get familiar with the particle system component. And once we create that video on the particle system component, we'll put a link to it in the description below. So check to see if it's there. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this video about the standard particle system game object inside of Unity. Hope you were able to follow along and that everything made sense and that you now have a better understanding of what particle systems are and how they're used inside of video games. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.